Hi, today we're going to be trying to paint a stormy, cloudy, threatening sky over the sea in less than five minutes. I'm wetting the paper, which is 90 pounds Saunders Waterford rough paper, quarter imperial size. I'm wetting it in a streaky way, not all over, with a medium hake brush. And then I'm going to put some streaks of raw sienna across it just to add a sort of undercoat to take away from the natural white of the paper. Put some ultramarine blue at the top. Fairly thick paint. And then drag it out across the page so it starts to diffuse nicely into the paper. And then a good thick mixture of Payne's Grey, which will then diffuse into the other two colours and give us our quick, stormy, cloudy sky over the sea. Just take a clean damp brush, sweep it across the horizon and then as the paint diffuses downwards you can just gently mop it up so that you get a nice soft light transition between the sea and the sky. Just keep playing, adding a little bit more paint or scrubbing it around with the hake brush here and there, just until you get an effect that you like, bearing in mind that it will dry lighter than how it looks when it's wet. You can do anything here really with it. The effects would be beautiful whatever you do. But most important, don't overwork it. As soon as you think it looks nice, stop and leave it. Let it dry. Just a tiny bit more blue, I think. Just closer to the horizon. Maybe soften out that big cloud there and the horizon. There we are. I think that's about done. We let it dry now. I think that's quite effective. I like the little bits of blue with the stormy clouds over that. I think what we need to do now is just to make a very simple sea by putting a little bit of the sky colour into the sea with dry brush. Just nice simple strokes, softened off a little bit. We don't want much detail in the sea because this is a sky painting. And I think that's that's just about it. It's quite interesting. We've got soft and hard edges to the sky. We've got nicely diffused colours, dramatic clouds, um, threatening rain clouds, and all done in less than five minutes. The soft and hard edges in the sky have happened because we didn't wet the paper completely. We just wet it, wet it in places and we've got nice soft waves there. A little bit of white left in the sky really adds sparkle to that corner. Thank you so much and give this a go. I think you'll enjoy it.
Thanks and goodbye.